So here I'm going to define for you the six basic trig functions using right triangle trigonometry. So we start with a right triangle here, which has an angle of theta. HYP is defined to be the length of the hypotenuse. OPP is the length of the side opposite theta. And ADJ is the length of the side adjacent to theta. Okay, so using this right triangle, we can define the six basic trig functions. The six basic trigonometric functions are called sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, and cotangent. So now let me define each of those functions using this right triangle. So I'll start with sine. Sine of theta is defined to be OPP divided by HYP. Okay, so it's the length of the side opposite theta divided by the hypotenuse. Cosine of theta is defined to be the length of the side adjacent to theta divided by the hypotenuse. Tangent of theta is defined to be the length of the side opposite divided by the length of the side adjacent. Okay, the other three are just the reciprocals of these. So cosecant theta is the reciprocal of sine theta. So it's the length of the hypotenuse divided by the length of the opposite side. Secant theta is the reciprocal of cosine theta. So that's hypotenuse over adjacent. And finally, cotangent of theta is the reciprocal of tangent of theta. Okay, so cotangent of theta is the adjacent side divided by the opposite side. Okay, let's do this example. Let's use this triangle here, this right triangle here, with this 30 degree angle to evaluate the six trigonometric functions at theta equals 30 degrees. Okay, let's start with sine of 30 degrees. Sine of 30 degrees is defined to be equal to the length of the side opposite 30 degrees divided by the length of the hypotenuse. So that's 1 half. Cosine of 30 degrees is the length of the adjacent side, which is root 3, divided by the length of the hypotenuse, 2. Tangent of 30 degrees is defined to be the, the length of the side opposite 30 degrees divided by the length of the side adjacent to 30 degrees. Then to find the other three, we just take the reciprocal of these guys. Cosecant of 30 degrees is the reciprocal of sine of 30 degrees, so that's 2 over 1, or just 2. Secant of 30 degrees is the reciprocal of this, so that's 2 over root 3. Cotangent of 30 degrees is the reciprocal of this, so it's just root 3. Okay, root 3 over 1, which is root 3. Okay, here's one for you to try. Use this right triangle here, which has an angle of 45 degrees here, to evaluate the six trig functions at 45 degrees. Press pause while you work on it. Okay, these are the answers you should have gotten. So sine of 45 degrees, we go opposite over hypotenuse, so 1 over root 2. And if we rationalize the denominator, we can write that as root 2 over 2. Okay, so to rationalize this denominator, we just multiply the top and the bottom by square root of 2. So we have square root of 2 times square root of 2 in the denominator, which is 2, and 1 times square root of 2 in the numerator, which is just square root of 2. Okay, so you see that sine of 45 degrees and cosine of 45 degrees are the same because we have this isosceles right triangle. So cosine of 45 degrees is also root 2 over 2. Tangent, we have opposite over adjacent, so that's 1. And then these guys over here are just the reciprocals. Okay, here's another one for you to try. Find all trig functions of this angle theta here with these sides of the triangle, the right triangle. Press pause while you work on it. Okay, so by finding the appropriate ratio of the appropriate side, you find that these are the answers.
Okay, so sometimes you might forget um, the definitions of, of the trig functions. So here's a useful way to remember it. Sokotoa. So you say sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. Cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And tangent is the opposite over the adjacent. And then to remember the other three, you just take the reciprocal of these. Okay, so sine goes with cosecant, cosine goes with secant, and tangent goes with cotangent. Okay, one great use of trig functions is in solving triangles. Okay, so let's solve this triangle. What it means to solve it is to find the unknown dimensions. Since this is a right triangle, and this is a 30 degree angle, alpha is very easy to find because we know that the sum of the angles of a triangle are 180. Okay, so we have alpha is equal to 180 degrees minus the right angle minus 30 degrees, and that's equal to 60 degrees. Okay, now let's move on to B. So the question is, which trig function should I use? The easiest to use are sine, cosine, and tangent. I don't want to use tangent because that requires me to use the opposite and the adjacent, and that would be two unknowns. I don't want to use cosine because cosine would be use, uh, I would be using A. I want to use B. Since B is opposite to 30 degrees, and I know the length of the hypotenuse, I'm going to use the sine function to find B. So I have sine of 30 degrees is equal to B over 16. If I just multiply both sides by 16, I can find B. So B is equal to 16 times the sine of 30 degrees. Okay, so now the big question is, what is sine of 30 degrees? So this is equal to 16 times the sine of 30 degrees. And a little bit ago, we found the sine of 30 degrees. Okay, the sine of 30 degrees is 1 half. That's something that should be memorized. All of these, in fact, should be memorized, as should all of these, because they're common angles. Okay, so sine of 30 degrees is 1 half. So I have 16 times 1 half, which is 8. So the length of the side B is 8. Finally, I want to find the length of A. I have a couple of choices. I know two sides of the right triangle, so I can use the Pythagorean theorem. Or I can use the fact that A is the adjacent side to 30 degrees, and I know the hypotenuse. So the adjacent and the hypotenuse, that's cosine. So cosine of 30 degrees is the length of the adjacent side, which is A, divided by the length of the hypotenuse, which is 16. So now I multiply both sides by 16 to find A. So A is equal to 16 times the cosine of 30 degrees. So that's 16. And a little bit ago, we found the cosine of 30 degrees. That's square root of 3 divided by 2. And 16 times the square root of 3 over 2 is 8 times the square root of 3. Okay, so these are the missing dimensions on the uh, right triangle. Okay, why don't you guys use trigonometry to solve this triangle here? Press pause while you work on it. Okay, these are the answers you should have gotten. Alpha is 45 degrees. B is equal to 5 times the square root of 2. And obviously, since we know that this is an isosceles triangle, since alpha is also 45 degrees, we didn't need to do any more work to know that A is equal to 5 square root of 2. But it's kind of fun to use the trigonometry to figure that out. Okay, so A is also equal to 5 times the square root of 2.